There he is, my man Clint Walker. Been thinking about him for like a month. I said, I got to get Clint Walker on my show. Clint Walker, how are you, my friend? Mark, I'm doing great, and I'm doing even better because I'm talking to one of my favorite people. Oh, my good! And how's your wife doing? Everything okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, good, good. Can't, can't complain. Wouldn't do any good anyway. I'd like to see, uh, you know, some of those changes that were supposed to be made. They're going in the right direction. But yeah. then wouldn't we all? Oh, yeah. Well, unfortunately, the changes are all in the wrong direction, aren't they? <laughs> You were in the Merchant Marines, weren't you? Oh, yeah. A little later, I, you know, I, I got a job on the river boats as a deckhand. Uh, and uh, then from there, uh, later on, I graduated to uh, the ore ships on the Great Lakes. And when you get your lake papers, those the ships are so big, so similar to saltwater that you can uh, you, you can then get your saltwater papers and you can go out to the coast and and, and uh, get a saltwater ship, which is what I did. Uh, and the first ship I ever got was on a, a freighter. Uh, uh, but that was ATS, Army Transportation Service, and we went to Alaska, took supplies up there, and then supplies out to the uh, Lucian Islands. We got there right after they'd pretty well whipped the, the Japs. There were a lot of landing crafts still right. on the beaches. Right. <laughs> some of the Japs still in the hills. Japanese, yes. I did. You... Uh, I, I get a kick out of uh, your, your friend, uh, Sean Hannity uh, uh, yeah. talked about all the jobs he had because uh, I did just about as many different things as he did. I oh, don't listen to him. I, before I got into the picture <laughs> business, I counted up and I'd had I'd had about uh, 126 different jobs. Really? I'm counting them all, you know, and uh, w delivering Western Union telegrams, shoveling wheat. You did whatever you had to do to make a dollar, right? That's it. That was mm -hmm. it, and because in those days that's what you uh, that's what you did, and uh, well, and if you didn't do it, you went hungry. Well, yeah, I think there were two times when I was just a little shaver. I remember a truck coming in two times, bringing a peck sack of groceries, and if we were lucky, there was an orange in there. That was it. That was the mm -hmm. extent of any welfare we got. Now, how were you found, or how did you find them, that is, in the, uh, to become an actor? Well, how did that start? Well, I finally wound up uh, in California, uh, as I'd been a carpenter, I had uh, a carpenter's card. I'd been a steeplejack and a number of things. I was building houses, but heck, they wanted you to do just one thing, either roofing or framing or whatever. And I like to build a house from the ground up. Amazing. But uh, I decided to get into security work because of my size, and I didn't have any trouble getting work there. I worked for the Newton, the Newton Detective Agency. I'd uh, They'd send me out to work on the waterfront as a waterfront security guard for eight hours, and I'd come home, change my clothes, and, uh, and I'd go work six hours in the nightclubs as a bouncer. And, and, well, let me stop you right there. So did yeah. you ever get in any fistfights? I never, uh, I was in that business for four years, but I never hit anybody. Yeah, they were scared the hell of you, that's why. Well, uh, if they were, that's good, because I, <laughs> and uh, I had a guy hit me, but he was drunk, and it didn't really hurt me that bad. I used yeah. to wear neckties that would break away if they grabbed me by the necktie. Oh, it, yeah. It would simply uh, break away, and I carried uh, little ammonia capsules uh, in my pocket in case somebody got you drunk or passed out, because it's a lot easier to help them walk out than try to carry them out. Well, that, that's... that's but So, so, so with... tell, me, tell me how you... Go ahead. I'm sorry. I interrupted. Yeah. No, I want to know how they found you, uh, discovered you. Oh. Well, I decided that I heard that there was better money to be made in uh, Las Vegas, so I went to Las Vegas, I, and uh, I was driving an old Chevy Coupe. I had my wife and daughter, who was then about uh, four years old, and uh, everything I owned was in that little coupe and a, uh, a, a tiny trailer we hauled behind us, 
and uh, I didn't have the money to buy a starter motor. I'd have to push that thing to start it. But I got there and the, uh, went to see the sheriff to get a job uh, in the casinos. And he said, well, gee, I'm sorry, but he said, uh, you have to live in Las Vegas for six months before uh, you can apply for a job as deputy sheriff. And then there was a guy sitting over in the corner and uh, that had been listening and called him over, and they talked, and they'd look at me and talk some more. And finally the sheriff said, would you come over here, Mr. Walker? I want to introduce you to Mr. Francis, who's going to be head of the security at the New Sands Hotel. Now, that was the first one that they built. Right. would be open in about a month. And he said, can you go to work tomorrow morning? So, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was looking out for me because I was just about broke. Mm-hmm. But uh, from there, I was there oh, probably 14 months, and uh, Van Johnson was doing the show at the Sands. Van Johnson, by the way, who just passed away not long ago. Oh, did he? I didn't know. Yeah, he just passed away. I hadn't heard that. Yeah. He came over and he said, look, I don't know if you'd be interested. There's one of Hollywood's biggest agents here who'd like to talk to you. And I said, well, I'll talk to him. And so the guy's name was Henry Wilson, and he had Rock Hudson and Tab Hunter and and uh, some other people. And uh, I guess I didn't seem too interested. And he said, well, he said, I'm going to give you my card. You'd have to move back to Hollywood uh, in order to do interviews. I can't promise you anything. Right. And uh, he went his way. And I got to thinking about it a couple of weeks later, and I thought, where's carrying the gun and the badge going to get me maybe shot? And they don't pay me that much. And uh, I thought, uh, you know, those those cowboys. Uh, well, let, let, me, let me ask you this. So you called him, I take it. I what? You called him? Uh, well, I moved back to Hollywood. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I moved back down there and got a job on my own at a place called the Rag Doll in uh, North Hollywood on Lancashire Boulevard. It's not there yeah. anymore. Yeah. Uh, but they paid me twice what I used to get, and that enabled me to uh, go on interviews during the daytime and then work at night mm-hmm. as a bouncer. And, uh, and from then on, it just is unbelievable how lucky I was. Somebody was really looking out for me up there. What was your first film? I mean, I actually know it, but well, what was your I, first film? The first time I ever got in front of a camera was on a, uh, a film with the Bowery Boys, Hunts Hall and Leo Gorsi, uh, and it's called The Bowery Boys Go to Africa. Mm-hmm. And my, I had one day's work, and they're returning to civilization. They're about to get on the riverboat, and they're taking, um, oh, my gosh, what was her name? Tarzan's woman. Uh, oh, you're asking. I forget. Now, listen, i got to take a break. Can you hold on? I can hold on. I only have a few minutes left with uh, Clint Walker. And, by the way, has a great website, ClintWalker.com, ClintWalker.com. I'll put it up on our website and on our social sites, ClintWalker.com. Now, Clint Walker, you were in a movie with Frank Sinatra, were you not? Yeah, None But the Brave. None But the Brave. What was it like working with him? Did you get to know him at all? I, oh, yeah. Uh, I like Frank. Uh, and I found out that he was very versatile. I mean... He invited uh, the cast and the crew over to his home. He had a house there, and he cooked uh, the 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 dinner was uh, spaghetti and meatballs and salad, and he uh, cooked the whole thing himself. And he entertained us about two hours with stories, and he just had us laughing all the time. But uh, no, I liked uh, I, I liked him, and I found him to be. A very talented man. He could have done just about anything he wanted to, and he, he he wanted to direct none but the brave, and he did direct part of it. But he got bored easily, so uh, the producer stepped in and and finished the job. But Only a couple like- minutes, you know. You were, in a, you were in a number of uh, well-known movies. Obviously, Cheyenne was a huge, huge television hit. But, my, you know, my, I've told you before, one of my favorite movies is The Dirty Dozen. And you worked with Lee Marvin there. Lee Marvin, <clears throat> just remind people, when you worked with Lee Marvin, did you like working with him? Oh, sure. 
you right. couldn't help but like Lee, and what a talented guy. I mean, he was one of a kind. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, how about Telly Savalas? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I worked I with Telly on another picture called Pancho Villa. But right. uh, uh, Telly, uh, you, uh, a fantastic actor. You, nobody can take that away from him. And the job he did on Dirty Dozen, uh, not many people could do. All right, so you weren't his buddy, I take it. Uh, well, Tully liked to, to to gamble and you know and drink and and uh, that wasn't this my thing. I I didn't gamble and and I I didn't drink, so we didn't frequent the same places. But I had a you know a very high regard for Tully and his his acting ability. Let me ask you one more. I have always been, yeah. What's that? I'm sorry. And he was a good singer. Uh, yeah. He would sing, uh, I Didn't Promise You a Rose Garden, and I was amazed at how good he was. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me ask you about Ernest Borgnine. I've always been well, a big fan of Ernest Borgnine. You would never meet a nicer guy. Never. Ernie... Now he he uh, was a strong was, man, too, wasn't he? He what? He was a strong man. Oh, you better believe he was. Yeah, Ernie was, uh, I guess, born that way. He... Uh, he was a, a tough, you know, he was a, a tough hombre, we'll put yeah. it that way. But uh, the, one of the nicest guys you could ever hope to meet. Yeah. Well, I would like to meet you one day and him one day, but, you know, I never leave. I never go anywhere. And you live way out in the sticks anyway. <laughs> well, you're always welcome here. <laughs> I need a helicopter to get to you. What are you talking about? Hey, or a how's canoe. That dog, how's that dog doing? Oh, you're so sweet. Barney is doing great. Barney's doing great. I, I appreciate poodles that. Poodles are good dogs. They're smart. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's not a pure poodle. He's a poodle and about ten other things. Well, that probably makes him an even better dog. Yeah, he's he's great. Now, do yeah. you have any dogs? No, because we have to travel too much. We go on the road doing shows. Wouldn't be fair to the dog. We, we want a dog, and one yeah. day we'll have one. Well, you're right. Now, listen, on your website, these different places you go to, or if you put a schedule, do you put a schedule up there if you have places to go to so people can no, see it? No, not necessarily. Uh, uh, we're kind of dubious about doing that. You don't uh, want nut jobs. Everybody knows the shows, and usually an awful lot of the same people come to the shows, you know, in Arizona or Mississippi or uh, Kanab, Utah. Uh, and a lot of them were done in uh, 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 Los Angeles. Well, are these little Western shows you go to? Not all, but most of them. Yeah. Most yeah. of them. And, uh, you know, uh, some of them uh, you just, you know, have a lot of picture uh, memorabilia that yeah. a lot of dealers are selling and so on. A lot of trading goes on. But the other ones, like Canab, that's strictly Western. And yeah. the one, uh, that's Western Legends. And, of course, in Canab, an awful lot of pictures were made there. I made my first feature picture there, and that's, I guess, where I fell in love with that, that big, big country and those mesas. Uh, I, you know, I, uh, we love that country up there. Now, we got to go. <clears throat> Are you still eating uh, well? Because you told me I need to eat well, and of course I don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, now, what's it going to do with you? I, I don't know. I can't eat these veggie burgers. Clint, Clint Walker, i got to talk to you more often. I love you, my friend. My best to your family. And God bless you. Thank you for coming on. 